where insights meet innovation in the world of marketing. Today, we are thrilled to host Mr. Anil Gurnani, the Chief Sales and Marketing Officer for TTK Prestige, a legacy brand that has come a long way with its consumers. I'm sure we've all heard of the famous Jo Bivi Se Kare Pyaar Wo Prestige Se Kaise Kare Inkar. And the brand has evolved with consumer mindsets and preferences and stood the test of time. The brand recently also came up with the proposition that cooking has no gender. So welcome, Mr. Gurnani. It's a pleasure to have you here. Yeah, thanks, thanks. And it's a uh, pleasure to, for me to having you here, definitely. And thanks a lot for this invitation. You're welcome. And uh, I mean, we just spoke of, you know, how TTK Prestige is a legacy brand and the journey has been remarkable. So if I would ask you to, you know, chart down some pivotal moments that have shaped its evolution into the brand that it has become today, what would they be? Uh, looking at the pivotal moments, in fact, you know, the first thing I would talk about, you know, the GRS uh, safety technology that we brought into in cookers. See, earlier earlier days in 1950s and 1960s, pressure cooker was not a safety device to be considered in the house. So there were various hazardous issues with that uh, instrument. But we came up with a GRS technology, you know, where it which made that cooker as a category in itself of safest instrument to be having in kitchen. So that gave a big boom to the industry as well. So that, in fact, you know, we never patented that technology because we wanted others also to follow because this is something which, which is in the safety of the consumers over right. there. So as a category, it evolved over there and we definitely gained the most over there. That's why we are having till now, you know, more than one third of the market share in India in pressure, uh, pressure cookers. That was the first one. Other was in maybe, you know, in 1990, 2000. So we uh, diversified our businesses into appliances. Till then, we were only in cookers and cookware, known to be a leader brand in these categories. So when we entered into the appliances category, so we came up with a whole range of appliances, mixer grinders, induction cooktops, kettles, okay, gas stoves and all. Uh, so that was another moment uh, which gave that pivotal growth to the organization uh, where we are right now. Post that, in fact, you know, in 2010 or so, I think, the another moment that came across was our distribution strategy that uh, starting our exclusive stores that we have. So we have close to around, you know, 700, 800 plus exclusive stores pan India over there. And this was a time, you know, at that time, there were no big bazaars and all also. Just right. imagine that kind of a scenario where you are and envisaging a retail network which sells your exclusively your products. Okay. So that definitely was a big uh, movement for the organization. And that has again given us a good growth uh, to now what we are. So we have more than 700, 800 exclusive stores that I'm talking about. And we and it contributes to more than 15% of our sales over there. And this, these stores, it's not only about the sales that they have given it to us, but the closeness to the consumers. Because, you know, as a because now we are not as an only as a manufacturer, but we are also as a retailer. Okay, we mm -hmm. we have we wear a hat of a retailer also with uh, so many stores in India. So that becomes, you know, you become very close to the consumers, understand their needs, you know, what is going around, how the market dynamics are. So that and it also gives us an opportunity to, you know, display our whole range of products, which, you know, normally you won't, uh, allow, other people won't allow it, the non-exclusive brand stores. But definitely here you have the overall liberty to control the pricing, the display, the products, understanding the consumers. So all these things, I would I would talk about these main three pivotal moments for the organization uh, due to which, you know, we are the market leader in this organization, in the kitchen appliances industry, wherein our second player is not even half of us right now. That's interesting. So basically staying ahead of the curve and thinking, you know, yeah, that's ahead right. of times. So in so terms I mean... of innovation, not only in products, but also in distribution. So these things have actually given us, in, so the core crux has been innovation, honestly, for the organization. That right. Yeah. Right. So you spoke about, you know, uh, having the market share, which is the competition isn't even half of what you have. So that's a big number. And I'm sure that comes with, you know, a certain commitment to quality and customer satisfaction. So if you could also elaborate on what the core values are for the brand when it comes to the promise to its consumers and how these also translate into the product and the service. Yeah. So uh, see, uh, we always have believed that uh, prestige as an organization, if we want to enter into a category, so we want to enter into a category where we can add value to the right. time. So okay, we just don't want to be a me too brand 
okay just copying what others are having and just get sales from it okay because the core dna of the organization is innovation over yeah. there so that's why if you really see in whatever categories that we have come up so pressure cookers which was our original category so we have got this swatch cooker okay which we have patented and still now it's you know the strongest you know the innovation that the uh, industry has over there which you know a spill free cooker okay then we got in with the swatch technology we came into gas stoves as well where you know you can lift the burners and clean the platform very easily over there we have then when we went into chimneys for example so we got into a safe sense technology wherein you can you know uh, it's it gives a sensor so for example if there is a gas leakage or anything the notification goes to the consumer on mobile okay that there's a leakage of gas and the chimney gets off automatically over there then we have iot enabled kettles and all so wherever we have been you know got into any category we have got that we need to add value. We need to look at what are the unmet needs of the consumers, which no other competition is giving them. And if we can, you know, resolve those pain points for them. Right. Okay. In fact, during the COVID days, we were the first organization to bring all the kettles and induction cooktops in India and get to that level over there because those were the days and, you know, and these were the latest trends that were been coming around. People were cooking from home and all. And that was the time, you know, we thought ahead of the curve and got these products in India. And still, we are the market leaders in these categories as well. Right, right. I'm sure. And uh, having you here and not talking about marketing would be like a sin. <laughs> so I also wanted to understand, you know, how are you sort of, you know, what is the strategy that you have for marketing prestige and, you know, how important is it for the overall strategy as a brand? Yeah, see, uh, press, as an organization, if you really see, and in the industry where we are, see, uh, kitchen appliances is an industry where in the consumer is highly involved okay because it's a core cult it reflects so the cuisine that you make in those appliances okay it actually reflects your culture okay mm. so for example a same appliance will not be used by a north indian uh, it will be used in a very different way where in a south india will people will use in a different way over there okay the same cuisine will be made in certain appliance in some market and it in other in other market over there. Right, so right. when you look at you know marketing as a organized as a you know function, you need to really look at so when you have a product strategy. So one thing we are very clear that you know we have to look at every market differently. Okay, mm. so there there has to be a immense sort of customization that you need to do not only in terms of products, okay, but also in terms of the communication that we want to give. Okay, in terms of the media that you want to choose in marketing. So it all involves, you know, all customization because honestly for India as a country, every state in itself is a different country altogether, honestly. So you need to think differently over there. And that's the reason why as a brand, we are the only brand with, who have a presence pan India. Because if you re really see why other competitors are not even half, the only reason why, because they have been, you know, concentrated on certain geographies. Some brand is strong in North, some brand is strong in East, some brand is so strong only in South over there. But we have been able to, you know, have a presence at a pan-India level. And mm -hmm. that is only because, you know, we have thought of each geography differently, worked out all our product marketing and the communication strategy for that geography. Just to give you examples, you know, for example, in cookers, so North will use only inner lid cooker. Okay. Okay. South will use only outer lid cookers. Okay. okay. So there are brands who are only in inner lid, some are only in outer lid, but we are with all the types of cookers that we have. So we cater to not, not only, you know, the uh, North Indian consumers, but also the South Indian consumers over there. Okay. So there are various other nuances. For example, you know, a uh, 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 Andhra Pradesh and Telangana, okay. Due to some reasons, you know, uh, so they don't take a three burner gas stoves. Okay, that's inauspicious for them. Okay. okay. So you need to give a two burner and a four burner. Okay. okay. So yeah. I'm just giving you some examples, you know, so how you have to think through. Because accordingly, you have to communicate all your offers, all your product offerings to those geographies. Because, for example, I can't show an outer lid cooker and a consumer offer in print in North. Yeah, I can't show a three burner gas to in AP and Telangan over there. So these are various things you need to really think of while yeah. planning your entire, you know, uh, marketing strategy that each geography has to be treated separately and how you want to communicate and what to communicate. So offers are also totally different. And these things have only, you know, given us uh, that kind of strength that mm -hmm. where we are right now. 
right so basically understanding the you know uh, basic fiber of the culture and geographies yeah. and uh, and since you know as we have you know as i told you 700 800 uh, stores uh, so we are a retailer also in a way over yeah. there so we need to know for example in delhi what kind of products i have to display okay mm -hmm. accordingly some there might be a certain change in north also for example up there might be a different okay yeah. south chennai would be something yeah. Andhra Pradesh would be separate. Okay. So as a retailer also you have to think because constantly right. think that, you know, what kind of products you need to display over there, what kind of promotions you want to offer. So these things, I know, have given us a good insights to the consumers right. as well and how to behave to them. Right. So you very rightly mentioned that geography plays a very important role in marketing, but then also uh, various demographics in terms of age also comes in play. So traditionally cookers were sold to housewives and homemakers earlier not now but now people have moved out of house women are working and uh, you know both partners are cooking at home young people are coming to uh, you know the picture who love to cook so how are you sort of engaging that demographic where the gen z or the say late millennials who are interested in cooking can you know become your consumers yeah, you're totally right. So initially, you know, in fact, uh, earlier when we were thinking of marketing, our TG was, you know, mostly maybe around 30 to 45 old year old woman. Okay, that was the initial TG. Okay. But total nowadays, the dynamic has completely changed. The market has changed. Number one, it is no longer a 30 plus only. Okay, there is a 20 plus uh, younger generation that you need to think of over there. Number two, it's not only women. It's men as well, the boys as well. Okay. So the completely TG has changed for us, definitely over there. And accordingly, we are getting those products because, see, we also know as an uh, organization that, you know, we need to connect to the consumers as soon as possible. So, for example, if you really look at how the journey of a consumer goes, so for it's not now without that 25 plus or 30 plus only first time gets into the kitchen. Okay. Right. Younger generation, 15 plus, 16 plus, 18 plus are getting into kitchen. Maybe with a small equipment, okay, like a kettle or induction cooktop over there. But they are started communicating to the with the kitchen appliances over there. Okay, so we right. are also thinking in those lines and how to communicate those. So maybe in, in the during the journey, I will have to attract the younger as, uh, consumers with the kind of products like kettles and induction cooktops. Okay, and these people only when they become elder, they will go into my cookers, cookwares and mixer grinder products over there. So we need to contact this consumer as early as possible. So they are getting associated with the brand from the younger age as well. So right. and one thing we know that as a younger generation, things that they are really looking at is definitely the convenience, ease and the aesthetics. These yeah. are the prime most. See, safety has become a hygiene for them. Okay, their safety is no longer something on the basis of which, you know, you buy a product because that is supposed to be a hygiene. That And prestige as a brand, they believe that that is something given. Yeah. Okay, so what Built. beyond that? What beyond yeah. that? Okay, so definitely we look at convenience and the aesthetics part for the younger generations over there. So that's why we have called, come up with all the IoT-enabled kettles, chimneys, uh, to uh, talk a uh, few of the examples in the products where it gives and we have got multi cookers as well you know a small kettle like cooker wherein you can at least you know boil your eggs make maggies okay do your uh, idlis make your idlis over there in a kettle itself over there wow. because this younger generation you know when they are living in a pg or in a hostel you know these are things they they try to you know first acquire right okay, as a bachelor so these things we really try to look at that what can we use you do for these younger generation people as well. Right, right. Yeah. You rightly said that safety is no longer a premium. It's a hygiene, yeah. especially for a brand like yours. Also, you really spoke about your distribution network in the beginning. And uh, uh, you said you have around seven. Uh, at, when you began, you had about seven to 800 re retail stores. So what is the strength today and what other channels uh, do you employ to ensure your products reach the right audience? See, as an organization, uh, we are fairly placed in across the channels. Over there. So we are into general trade over distributors. So we have close to 600 plus distributors uh, who sell to more than 30, 40,000 retailers mm -hmm. at a brand India level. 
Okay. So these are all multi-branded dealers uh, to say. So we are billing close to around 40,000, 50,000 retailers in a year. Okay, through these 600, 700 distributors. Uh, number two, we are presented to e-commerce channel because that is some, some channel that you can't definitely avoid nowadays. Okay, at least 20% of the market, of e, I believe that still is an e-commerce over there so we are market leaders in the big e-com platforms as well we are in ourselves they are registered as a seller in all these platforms we are going strong into our d2c channel as well right. okay, so we are been working around with our channel and we are significantly gaining shares uh, from this uh, d2c platform as well uh, number two Number three is talking about the exclusive stores that I talked about, the franchise stores. So we have close to 700, 800 stores pan India level. And we have been adding more than 100 stores per year over there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that is one channel, you know, where we are exclusively to these franchise outlets over there. So we are strong over there. Other thing is the common channel. Uh, so we are present fairly into CSD, CPCs of the world. Okay. Where we are supplying to all these government channels over there. So, and uh, the rural is another part, the MFI business, uh, because the 40, 50,000 retailers that I talked about are more into urban. So, rural it is through MFIs and all the numbers will be, uh, will be there. But definitely, there's a, there's another set of big amount of retailers that we, you know, serve through these MFI channels in rural sales. Right. So, if I had to ask you, like, percentage-wise, uh, what percent would you say comes from online versus offline in terms of sales for you? Uh, see, if I if you uh, divide it offline versus online, it's basically it would be 80-20. 20% uh, is online, 80% uh, is offline. Now, in 80% yeah. uh, we have various channels. So, as I talked about, there, yeah, are, store, there are distributors and all stuff. Right, right. So, Make in India has been a very significant initiative, you know, in, to, you know, sort of boost domestic manufacturing. So, how does TTK Prestige align with this? And how has it impacted your approach to manufacturing in, at large? Hey, that's a big thing you talked about. And thanks for taking this out because, you know, uh, we, proud, we are very proud while talking on this because we are the first organization and I would say the only organization which has taken this stand of completely making it in India. Okay. Uh, right now, also, if you see, nine of the, our FG products are getting uh, imported from outside. Okay. More than 90% of our components are also sourced in, in India itself. Okay. So, uh, it I think during the COVID days, we have taken a stance that we want to make completely in India. We don't want to import anything from outside. Okay. So, last five years, we have taken that stand. Okay. Uh, honestly, it's a very tough call okay, to make. Okay. And when you are in an industry wherein it's fairly dominated uh, by the players from outside of the world, wherein you know you can get easily import new products from there, sell it, and okay, then maybe if you don't make margin also, that's fine and going around it. it. But against that to make an investment in all the machinery, the tools, everything, you know, involving getting involved into it, committing into that category is a very different thing. Okay. Right. But we uh, took that call uh, five years back. Uh, okay. And because of that, we have to stop certain categories as well, because there were certain categories uh, which was not easy to replicate in India. Okay. Because right. costs were very high as compared to what we were importing. But we took that call and we stopped those categories. Okay. But 95% of the categories we continued and we have done all the backward integration uh, for our in house manufacturing and with our co makers as well over there and during these five years in fact it's a great work done by the team over there to making everything in it so right now the suppliers are completely backward integrated over there each and every component is also made in india the motors the mixers the chimney glasses everything is made in india over there right. we, didn't, uh, we didn't buy anything from outside over there and over the years definitely it has been early definitely when you start you feel you take those tough calls and initially it's an increment of cost that you bear because of everything you can't match. But over the years, we have realized now we are in a certain level that in fact, we have caught our cost far below than what we were importing earlier. So oh. over the year, definitely as an organization, we feel it has got a big benefit and it has gone a good uh, boost to our domestic manufacturing as well. 
that that's really commendable i mean i'm sure you talk so much about innovations i'm sure there must be something happening at prestige that uh, you know we'll soon uncover so anything in the pipeline that maybe you'd like to share with us what we can look forward to from the brand there are various things okay uh, there are you know certain uh, so as i talked about uh, chimneys okay so we are uh, launching a particular model uh, wherein you know see normally when you uh, install a chimney at your house and kitchen uh, the biggest uh, pain point of the consumer that came from a survey as well that it was the sound that it makes yeah okay so now we have come up we are coming out with a chimney wherein you know your motor can be kept outside the house so just like your split ac yeah okay, okay. So, you know so how you can keep the so there is no uh you know noise inside the house okay. okay you can just have a duct and wherein you know you can place the motor outside over there so this is one of the innovations that uh we are working around and we quickly are launching it in market over there another i talked about this with the safe sense technology chimney as well just recently last few months back only we have launched so that's also you know talks about how we care about the safety of the consumers and the convenience part as well so it's iot enabled you know one is you get all the notifications you can switch on switch off and when there is any safety hazard is a gas leakage it gives you that notification as well and t- turns the chimney on automatically oh, yeah. over there so that is the other you know you know you know innovations that we are talking about in induction cooktops we are coming up with you know various hybrid kind of products okay you will soon see, see in the market where it is a hybrid of gas stoves and induction both infrared and induction both so there are lots whole i can yeah, keep on talking things. like this so lots of things been planned and mostly all these you know insights have come from the consumer service talking about their pain points the majority what we focus every time is you know so whenever there is a proposal of a new project that comes to my table the first question i always ask you know what pain point it's going to solve the consumer right the first question is that okay the pricing margin and all the things are different other things but what is it for the consumer what are you going going to give him differently than what the other competitors are not giving so right. that first question we always ask while uh, looking at any new product launches so and that has and that has been the dna for the organization and helped us and uh, made us the market leaders with it right right um yeah. any market market trends in particular uh, any consumer preferences shifts that you are seeing in the category specifically yeah definitely see uh, nowadays what's happening is if we look at uh, one is i talked about the induction cooktops so if you really see the penetration for induction cooktops is fairly low in india okay so for example if i talk about gas stoves okay if 80 if the penetration level is 80% plus so 80% plus household have a gas stoves in urban right. okay in urban population but when i talk about the induction cooktops it's hardly 10% okay mm-hmm. so that that penetration is one thing which is going up okay people are more and more you know looking into it so firstly definitely they will start with as an having as a second option but nowadays yeah. more and more consumers are also looking at as the only option as well okay yeah. other thing is what's happening is you know governments are giving subsidies on the electricity for using the induction cooktops okay that is also boosting the category and now uh, as you would have heard the uh, there is a new uh, project that has been launched uh, by pm on talking about 1 crore households so, uh, uh, to be you know installed the solar panels okay so more and more you know solar energy comes into the households so electricity becomes virtually free for you right so more and more there will be a penetration of categories like induction cooking yeah okay so that is one category that we can see the uh, diff- various penetration increase another is chimneys as well okay more and more people are going into that still the penetration for that category is also low over there so these are certain things definitely we are seeing and we are keeping a watch you know and we are being uh, having a pioneer in these categories so we want to keep a watch and uh, continue that trend and be ahead of everyone uh, thank you so much for taking the time out i mean great insights so thank you for your time today and a great pleasure talking to you today thank you thanks same here thank you thanks a lot